Well, congratulations. Well, you know, being homeless wasn't like a big deal to me. I mean, I was the oldest of four kids. We didn't. We only had like one bedroom, and I slept in the laundry room half the time. And then I went when I went to college for a little while. I didn't. I we couldn't. I couldn't afford a dorm, and I couldn't always go home. So I just slept in uh, what do you call it? The uh, you know, the, the theater in the back where all the, the costumes were. I just put the costumes on the floor and slept there. It was just sort of an extension of that, you know. It was also summertime, like you can sleep in the park. And, uh, and I was only temporarily homeless. I didn't, I didn't have anything bad. You know, I wasn't really like a homeless person because people that are homeless because of dire straits and life cuts them so many bad deals and they just wind up there and they're unhappy. But that, it wasn't like that for me. I was free, you know, I was just trying to get a job and I didn't have a place to live and I didn't have a job yet, but I knew I'd get one and I was just glad to be, I was just glad to be in New York City and be free and, and everything seemed possible. I was only 20 and, uh, you know, it's just, you just have to, you know, work with what you got, that's all. But um, if you stay optimistic, and you're all on the upswing, it'll be okay. It's just if you lose your sense of optimism and you're on a spiraling down, that's when things get rough. But I'm not a spiraler. I'm more of a upswinger. <laughs>